What was it that really made you go like, oh, this is bullshit, dude? The religion? Yeah. There was actually, uh, like, in, in, like, middle school, I went to this, this youth group session. This girl in our youth group asked our youth pastor, like, what happens to somebody in a far corner of the world who has never been witness to and doesn't know Jesus Christ and has never been saved? What happens if they live their whole adult life having never heard about Christianity and they die? One of the classic questions. Yeah. Like do that. They, do they go to hell? And well, the first thing we need to realize is that God has provided us with his general revelation. That means when we look at creation, we can see God's attributes on display. He is organized. He is creative. He is powerful. He is sovereign. He is in control. However, to know the message of the gospel, we need what's called special revelation. Through the Bible, God has revealed to us specific details of his plan of redemption and how we can find eternal life and a restored relationship with him. Now the question is, is what if somebody never hears about that? Isn't that unfair? Well, let's think about what would be fair. The Bible says that we've all fallen short of the glory of God and that the wages of that sin is death. So if God were to be truly fair to each one of us, we would all receive death. Now that might sound kind of extreme to you, but we need to remember that God is infinitely holy. That means that even what seems like a small offense to us, a small sin to God is an infinite offense against him. Ultimately, none of us deserve to hear the good news. It's only by God's grace that we hear it in the first place and come to faith in him. So why do some people hear it and some people don't? I don't know. I don't know God's reasoning behind everything that he does, but I do know that ultimately he is working things out for our ultimate good and his glory, and that he has commissioned each one of us who has heard the good news to go into all the world and preach the gospel. That's an amazing amazing opportunity of being messengers for God and being a light in this dark world. I hope you'll take that calling seriously. Follow for more Christ-centered content and help support my ministry on Patreon.